Right, so we'll see if uh, he can do the same with Pup Puppe here. Yeah, I mean, he is on the classic Richter here. I know he's been training up the Joker, but with a player of Puppe's caliber, he's sticking with his tried and true Richter here. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see a switch later if he feels like it's not going well. Um, I know Even if he feels like it is going well, he may switch just for a bit of the practice. But for now. Right, yeah. Uh, a lot of players have been... A lot of unranked SoCal players actually have been giving uh, Pepe a lot of trouble. Uh, I know he lost to Luna at, uh, the, at Nimbus a few weeks ago. And uh, I think there was another player he lost to earlier. It was uh, Nito Nito at uh, yeah. Prime Soccer. But we're not here to talk about his losses in the past. We're here to talk about what he's doing right now. And right now he's looking to take a W over SoCal rank 10. Yeah, he's putting Nitro. a lot of pressure here with Nitro. Already getting that edge guard and a huge lead over Nito. Or Nitro, sorry. And that was an impressive tech there under the Pokemon Stadium led from Nitro. Unfortunately, because of the Belmont's recovery, he wasn't able to live it. Yeah. yeah, it's very unfortunate when you do something sick to try to live and your opponent is even, even sicker because they expected it and yeah, covered it. But uh, nice Nitro firing back right there. Yeah, nice little snipe on the Charizard jump right there with the up here is going to be able to close up the stock relatively early. So now Nitro has actually taken a lead for himself. Okay. Um, we're seeing a lot of more no normals out from Nitro here. Uh, uh, I wonder if that's just because uh, he's Squirtle is being faster or... Uh, I guess, oh, that was such a good drag down there from Pape, but yeah, perfect nice tech right there from Nitro. Nitro. But to go off what you were saying, I feel like the specials themselves are all pretty laggy and neutral. They don't have any real, like, sort of way to stop an approach if Pape can get in with the Squirtle. So instead, Nitro's off to throw out his normals, the fares, and the nares to try and just combat him when he's in his face, and then reset so he can get the distance to throw out his projectiles. Oh, wow, uh, Pepe punishing the cross there with his uh, side B. Uh, yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I think, uh, especially Squirtle, uh, that matchup in particular, yeah. the the character is so small that it's very easy for him to evade the crosses and uh, um, all the projectiles that Nexus would be throwing out there. Okay, Puppy going for a few switches there. Um, I wonder if that was unintentional, because it seems like, or maybe he just wanted to switch around back to Ivasaur. Yeah, but I feel like we're seeing a bit more reserved play here from Puppy. He's not throwing his entire body at him, just trying to get an opening in Nitro. He's waiting and playing this last stock a lot more patiently, able to find a landing up here as a punish for the cross toss right there, and he's able to even out the game. Yeah, what a great punish there. I mean, a, a lesser player probably would have gone out there and, and hit uh, into his back air or something to set him off stage, but Puppy knowing that up air would kill at that point. All right, looks for the tech chase with the side beat, but a quick uppercut out of there from Nitro is going to keep him safe and relatively safe as he can be because he's still getting comboed by Puppe. Yeah, Puppe uh, seems to favor this Ivasaur a lot in this matchup. Of course, he's still fo following that... Uh, that Pokemon trainer sort of strategy of at high percents. Uh, when your opponent's at high percents, there's going to be Charizard, and low percents Squirtle, and me medium percents Ivasaur. Yeah, but now he's on the Charizard here. He might be stuck on it just because if he is forced to swap here, he's going to be on the Squirtle, a character that dies very early. And Charizard has all this kill power. He doesn't have a lot of options there. Roll on okay. and an up smash catches Nitro's jump. Will he be able to survive again oh. here? Oh, okay, interesting uh, mix up there, but. Uh, you know what? I like it. He saw Puppy go out there, oh. try and edge ground with the forward air and miss. He said, I don't think I have the distance on this. I need to get this down here for the recovery. And honestly, if he got it, he may have been able to convert it into an up B for a kill. Bit of a greedy option, but if it worked out, the risk reward was there. Right, I think the only way that would have worked, though, is if Puppy, if <laughs> Puppy seriously misspaced that. Um, yeah, but so I feel like uh, Squirtle and Ivysaur are really good in this matchup because, uh, like I said earlier, the Squirtle is so small, and Ivysaur is pretty good against the zoners because he, he can uh, put on a lot of pressure with his own projectile, uh, which is pretty good. It's an all, a lot like Wolf's Laser in that respect. Uh, near that was an interesting way out. I think the, that was forward air that hand, maybe? I don't know. 
I like the use of the F tilt to just stop the withdrawal in its place. Very good. Nice. I feel like we're seeing a lot more of the cross coming out in this second game here just because Nitro's recognized it. If he has Squirtle at such a distance, there's nothing really he can do to get in. Squirtle has to go for these aggressive jump in options and things like that, go for an F tilt. And the cross is just kind of forcing or cutting off options. Rather. Okay, Puppe went for the switch here despite not really putting a lot of damage. Oh! oh. Big okay. up smash right there. Yeah, not gonna kill, but man, that move is strong. Uh, yeah, going for the Ivysaur at the early percent there, I feel like uh, it's not a big deal if Puppe has to switch into the Ivysaur early because it's also a pretty good matchup. Nice down air coming out from Nitro, closing out that stock. Now, this is where I think Puppe is in trouble. He doesn't want to switch because he doesn't want Nitro to get some kind of punish on him, but. Okay. Great edge guard right there, making use of Charizard's extra jumps compared to the other Pokemon trainer and using the Nair to get that stock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a very close game coming out here right now. Okay. Nair, fair. Puppy's got him in a bad position. Nitro just slides out of there and brings it back. But now he's getting up aired. He makes it back to center stage, but he's going to get thrown and then he gets his eyes in. Great DI mix up right there from Nitro. Says if I DI out, Puppy will be looking for the Vine Whip. I don't think he's ready for the uh, DI in with an up air. And I'm just going to risk my stock on it. And it pays out. Now he does have the stage control. The Charizard is out. This is the strongest, uh, the strongest position he can be in right now. Oh, he could have confirmed off that if he expected it. Yeah, but Nitro just all over Puppet's Charizard. A fair out of shield, though. And oh, that's a, the buffer. A buffered axe right there. and so laggy. Yeah, really unfortunate for Nitro. Back there. He took a couple of axes. Those will kill at this percent. Okay, another slide. Nitro using these slides to get out of these bad spots. But uh, one punish from Pape and this could be right. easy in this game. Zero percent, the Squirtle is out. This is great for Pape. He has the lead right now. He's gonna try and stay on the Squirtle as long as possible, I feel. Okay, shield for withdrawal. Most people don't know how to react to that, but if you shield it, especially if you're Richter with that long hip hop, so you can get a nice punish. Okay, I, yeah, I know. Now, the thing about Razor Leaf is it's actually going to cut off the option of using the cross toss uh, of Nitro's, which is actually the uh, same thing Nitro's been using the cross to do in the first place. So it's really kind of just reversing, playing the, you know, the Uno reverse card. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, upbeat. I don't think that's gonna kill though. No, it's not. Not quite. Nitro just needs a little oh, more. Oh, and great the switch. switch. Yes. Of course, that comes out frame one. Yeah, very, very intense situation. Pape making the right call there, switching to the Charizard. Is that the up throw? No, a forward throw. Oh, not the be best DI, anyway, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and that was the DI mix up right there. They were at a point where maybe they were under the platform. It was kind of hard to tell. So Nitro was DIing out in case of the up throw. 